forces on a current carrying loop in a magnetic field. Imagine a rigid current carrying loop which is free to rotate about an axis, as is shown in the diagram. The forces shown in green, acting on a current carrying loop, which is shown in blue, are the result of the interaction between the external magnetic field, shown in grey, and the magnetic fields due to the current in the loop. The force generated by each side of the loop is given by the equation F equals B I L sine theta, or as the sides of the loop are at right angles to the magnetic field, sine theta is equal to 1. This equation can therefore be simplified to F equals B I L. The forces produce a torque on the loop, which results in a rotational motion, as is indicated by the arrow marked tau. The magnetic fields due to the currents in the ends of the loop do not produce a force on the loop, as these currents are parallel to the external magnetic field. When a current carrying loop is at an angle to an external magnetic field, rather than parallel to it, forces are generated on the ends of the loop. These forces can be calculated using the formula F equals B I L sine theta, and are directed outwards parallel to the axis of rotation, as can be seen in the diagram. The forces on the end of the loop increase as the loop rotates towards being at right angles to the external magnetic field. But they make no contribution to the torque on the coil as they are parallel to the axis of rotation. This diagram shows one end of a loop with the current and magnetic field direction marked. The force on the conductor is into the page and is represented by the red circle with the cross on it. The size of the circle represents the size of the force acting on that end of the loop. By contrast, the forces on the sides of the loop remain constant. However, as the coil rotates, the angle of these forces to the plane of the coil changes. As the loop rotates, the currents in the sides of the loop remain at right angles to the magnetic field. The forces acting on the sides of the loop are oriented at right angles to both the current direction in the sides of the loop and the external magnetic field. When the plane of the loop is parallel to the magnetic field, as is shown in the first diagram, the forces on the sides of the loop are at right angles to the plane of the loop, so that the torque is at a maximum value. As the coil rotates, these forces are no longer acting at right angles to the plane of the loop, as can be seen in the middle diagram, so the torque on the coil decreases as the loop rotates. When the loop is at right angles to the external magnetic field, the forces are oriented outwards on the sides of the loop, and in line with the plane of the loop, as is shown in the final diagram, and therefore exert no torque on the loop. The rotation of a current carrying loop in a magnetic field is the basis for the electric motor. Summary. When a current carrying loop is parallel to an external magnetic field, forces are generated on the sides of the loop which are at 90 degrees to both the current direction and the direction of the magnetic field. When the loop is at an angle to the field, the forces on the sides of the loop remain at 90 degrees to both the current direction and the direction of the magnetic field, and forces are also generated on the ends of the loop and these are parallel to the axis of rotation. The forces acting on the sides of a current carrying loop remain constant as the loop rotates. However, the torque generated by these forces changes as the angle between the force direction and the plane of the loop changes so that torque is at a maximum value when the loop is parallel to the magnetic field and is zero when the loop is at 90 degrees to the magnetic field.